What's going on guys, it's Nick. I uh, spent most of the day today in the mesh lab downstairs uh, cranking out a lot of burnout pieces, um, iceberg pieces, and uh, some of the new um, uh, Volt to uh, Carolina, uh, which uh, really has been a pretty hot seller ever since I made it. Um, you know, people are just like going nuts over it. <laughs> it just, it really looks so vibrant. Uh, it uh, has a really nice texture uh, to the gives you. I mean, it has a nice texture to the to the mesh. But I mean, overall, uh, the color so vibrant, very nice. Uh, looks great on any head, white head, you know, a black head. Um, I think it looks better on a black head. You know, throw some white shooters on there if you get a black head uh, or a navy head. Throw on uh, some volt or neon yellow uh, triangle tops, and, and you're good. Um, so getting back into the heads, um, kind of self-explanatory. Uh, customer of mine, um, Brian, um, uh, from uh, down south. Uh, I forget what state he's from. Uh, again, which was it? Uh, I can't read it off the label. It doesn't even say. Um, but he's a pretty cool guy. I sold a lot of mesh to him. Did, did some trading with him before. So he's a pretty good guy. He has a couple of sons that play um, middle school across. Uh, one of them is going to be going to varsity this year. Uh, so he had four heads, uh, and he asked me to do the DMG pocket on all four of them with white string throughout, uh, white mesh. Uh, I don't know the sidewall selections yet. we still got to come up with some of those, but uh, I'll just take it from the top to bottom. Uh, one, of them, one, of them, uh, one of the four heads that came in, uh, white superpower. Uh, looks like it's in pretty fairly new condition. Um, so it's strong with some soft mesh on it, uh, which I'm just going to yank off. I don't know why there's these little red little attachments here. Maybe that's to let him know where he does his triangle tops or I have no clue but um, this is gonna get uh, all restrung uh, probably do something with that soft mesh so that's one of the heads uh, I'll show it back in the box uh, looks this looks like the brand new superpower it's got the tag still on it um, so I don't really have to say much about that um, that one's gonna get a same pocket as well probably just a different variation um, of sidewall selection colors and him like me um, like the color navy because uh, there's two other navy heads in here. I went to a high school um, and college for that matter that did use navy in their sticks. Uh, I have a Surgeon 10 over here um, that it just got some 5D mesh on it. I'm actually just trying to sell. Uh, if anybody wants it, let me know. Um, give you a pretty good deal on it. Uh, it's new condition. Um, so I got a couple navy heads. Uh, so I got one navy head. He sent me two of them. Uh, one was a Clutch X um, and this really cool matte finish. Uh, looks like it's been used a little bit by the ball stop. Uh, my dog is just barking because he's annoying. Um, anyways, um, this one's really nice. It's got that like titanium matte sort of finish on it, like I was saying. Uh, and this is one of the clutches that has all the holes in the top, so I'm going to probably use all the top string holes when I string this. Look cool. And since it does have, it does have that matte uh, finish, um, it's going to resist a lot of that dirt uh, and... I think it'll look great if I put in, you know, a bright color, which will offset that matte. Uh, maybe put some gray in there or do something. Um, but uh, then again, that it just looks really cool. Um, I'll throw it up high so you guys can see it. What it looks just like, you know. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen these before, but uh, I know they made a limited run on the matte finish uh, clutches. So this is uh, definitely a one of a kind piece right here. And then another one that you picked up was uh, probably my favorite of the bunch is the uh, Evo Four. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about this head. A lot of things. There's a few things that I don't. Uh, one thing that they did is very minimalize uh, what the head is. You know how like, STX superpowers? They'll say STX up at the top. Uh, clutches usually have a nice clutch logo at the bottom. Especially the new Clutch Elites, they have a little uh, jewel. Um, but this one's very minimal. Um, now this one's sort of like a matte and shiny plastic, which is kind of cool. Um, has a Warrior logo, almost like the OGs. So, comparable to the OG Blade, OG Evo 4, uh, OG uh, Blade. So you can see how they have the openings on the side, and the, I think they're trying to bring that back, uh, which would be a cool function um, to have, um, especially for facing off. What they did with this head is, like you guys know, they introduced a sim rail technology, which means that if you actually lie the head down, it has an indent, almost like the C-channel technology. So they basically did like kind of like a copy off that, basically. Um, but uh, as you notice through the head, um, unlike the other Warrior series, it's really um, pinpointed, almost like the Cobra. Um, 
and then they did uh, some cuts in the middle of it to take some of the plastic off. Um, so you know when you lie it down, this the, the indents of the evolution actually kind of stick out a little bit, uh, which is nice. And I want to do something nice with this head as well. It comes with six top strings, uh, six holes at the top, four at the bottom, and looks like that's a mold uh, thing when they molded the head. Um, so this looks like a brand new head as well. Uh, doesn't look like there's any scoopies on it as well. Yep. So when they molded this head, there was just something on the top and just something on the bottom. Uh, when they take it out of the mold, uh, that's the only way you're gonna know. But this is the high school edition. I think I already told you that. But it looks really cool, and when you look at it, it kind of reminds you of a lot of different heads. When you kind of look at it at first, it kind of reminds you of a clutch from just a scoop, in my opinion. Um, kind of reminds you of Superpower in a way, just by looking at the bottom rails. Um, but um, overall, I think this is kind of, you know, Warriors all end all head uh, that they'll make, kind of like their flagship uh, stick. It's always been uh, the Revolution has always been. There's actually going to be a Revolution for a head coming out uh, more in the fall. So you guys, defensemen, should pick that up if you guys are D middies uh, defensemen. But this is definitely a solid stick that can do it all. Uh, it can bend. It's flexible uh, enough to take face offs. Um, you can play midfield with it, uh, defense, attack, um, you could probably even play goalie with it. No, I'm just kidding, because um, everybody in the MLL are using these things. Uh, it's the same head that, uh, um, what's his name, Mike Sawyer ripped that 114 ridiculously mile per hour shot and uh, won that fastest shot competition in the MLL, so uh, that was cool to see. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing all these heads up and... Uh, Look for a next video, not, probably not the next video, but the video after that. Uh, I still got to do that lacrosse unlimited thing. I know I've been saying that, but um, it's just been a timing issue. They have a lot of customers in their store, so I got to get some free time to do it with them. Um, so what I'll do is um, probably lay out some pictures on Facebook uh, when I do one by one, and then I'll do a total video of all four of the heads. Um, so if you guys have any comments or criticism, whatever you guys want to show, let me know, and uh, I'll put uh, some work together. I've got a whole big, uh, nice order going out to a buddy of mine, Quinn, uh, who ordered uh, 15 pieces in one of his orders, and then I believe another six. So I'm working hard as my hard as I can to crank those out uh, and get those out to him. So Quinn, if you're watching this, uh, your stuff will be out uh, momentarily as fast as I can. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys got any other questions, like I said, let me know. Um, throw me a text or just send me an email. So that's pretty much it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Enjoy it, and that's that. Peace out, guys.